Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I would like to share complete tips, tricks, and full S Pen tutorial for the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. The S Pen is one of the most functionally superior tool found on any smartphone, and it simply allows for some rich and deep functionality unheard of on any other smartphone. So let's dive in and master every aspect of the S Pen. All right, so to master the S Pen, the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the settings, and I'm going to show you guys just how extensive these things are. So you go into settings, you go into advanced features, and you tap on S Pen. And right off the bat, you see that this is a huge menu, all right? And on the top here, you even see something called Air Command that a lot of us are familiar with. So what I'm gonna do is, First and foremost, I'm going to take a look into the Air Command menu, and then I'm gonna go over all these guys until you guys master this stuff. So real quick, let's go into Air Command. I'm gonna show you one thing really quick, and it's called a floating icon. So basically, normally what you have to do to bring up Air Command is, if you press this button, as you hover the pen next to the screen, you press the button, and that brings up the Air Command menu. When you tap anywhere on the screen, the air command menu disappears and there's nothing on the screen that is showing that there is something such as air command available unless you enable floating icon. So if you enable this guy and if I now bring up the air command, if I tap the screen, you now have this little floating icon just sitting on the corner and at any time you can simply tap on it and that brings up the air command menu. You can also take this guy and you can put it in different places on the screen wherever it is convenient for you guys. Now, I don't like this menu. I prefer to simply bring my uh, S Pen close to the screen and press the button and that brings up my Air Command menu. So I'm gonna shut this off, but I just wanted to show you that there's such an option. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is when I do bring up the Air Command, you will see that there's a total of six icons and these are called shortcuts and they're fully customizable. As a matter of fact, if you go back here, you'll see shortcuts. If you tap on it, you'll see all the six air command uh, shortcuts right over here, and you can modify them. You have two options. You can either pick S Pen features, which are these guys right here, Smart Select, Screen Write, Translate, Glance, and all that stuff. Or if you don't want these guys, let's say you don't want to translate. You don't want to, you, you're not doing translations Maybe you're not traveling right now, so you do not need this option. So you can remove that and simply put the calendar in place of that. So if I go back out here, and if I bring up the Air Command menu, now you're gonna have the calendar, and as you can see, the translate feature is gone. So let's go back into the settings, and I just wanted to let you know that you can actually tap on this settings icon right here, and that takes you back into the same settings we just uh, were in. So let's go back over here. Now, because I'm gonna show you every single one of these S Pen features, I'm going to remove the calendar and I'm going to add translate back into that menu. And what we're gonna do is we are going to go out and we are going to talk about the air command. So let's click the button. And the first thing, let's take a look at the translate option. Let's see how exactly it works. When you bring up translate, it actually brings up a menu. This menu shows you what language is being translated into which language. And you can always modify these things. You can tap on this, and let's just pick English, and let's tap on this, and let's just pick, uh, pick uh, French, okay? So now what we're gonna do is the air command translate option is set to translate from English to French. Let's go to Google right over here, and uh, let's just type something in here, car. And as you can see, we have some suggestions over here. Let's just hover over cars and see what happens. As you can see, we got a translation of cars to French, which is something de tours. Okay, I'm not French, so I cannot pronounce that properly. Anyway, so that's the translate function. You can go anywhere and you can translate any word that you see on the screen by simply hovering atop that word, as you can see at the bottom right over here. So let's go back out and take a look at the next option. By the way, you can take this menu, you can move it around, and you can also, when you're done with translations, you can exit out and you're done. All right, so next up, let's take a look at the next option, which is magnify. So let's bring up air command, tap on magnify, 
And what Magnifies allows you to do is if you hover over the screen, it zooms in on the area that you're hovering around, okay? And as you can see on the top, there's a menu, and it's telling us that we're magnifying at a rate of 250%. And the magnification level can be adjusted. So let's go back here, tap on it. We can do 200%, uh, and as you can see, that's going to be smaller. Okay, so you can adjust this to your needs. Again, you can move this menu, and when you're done with your magnifying process, you can actually exit out and you're done with the magnify option. Let's move on to the next option. So let's bring up Air Command, and if you tap on Glance, it's not going to work. What you have to do is you have to launch an application. Let's launch Messages application over here, and uh, let's um, go back into Air Command, and now let's do a Glance. And as you can see, the app, the messaging application just got minimized. What I can do is I can keep glancing at it by hovering the S Pen over the screen. This is very useful for research purposes. I could have something important that I was looking at, but I want to work on something else. So I can minimize that window. I could do my work. And as every time I need a reference from this other application, I can glance at it. And then when I'm done, I let it go and I continue my work over here. Okay, so it's a nice multitasking feature. When you're done with Glance, you tap the multitasking uh, pane right over here, the button, you simply kill the application that you were glancing at and you're done. And let's move on to the next option right over here. So now we have the screen right option. When you tap on this, it takes a screenshot of the screen that you are currently on. So let's do that. Boom, we got a screenshot of the home screen and you can edit this stuff. So you can highlight areas that you want other people to see before you share the picture, okay? You can erase stuff that you don't need. So if I don't want this, I can erase it. Um, you can undo stuff. And what else you can do is you can crop this uh, screenshot so I can actually minimize it a little bit, okay? And I can share this screenshot with a friend if I want to. So if I tap on share, it brings up the sharing option. Uh, you can uh, share using messages, Gmail, Samsung Notes. You can add it to the maps. You can do all kinds of sharing right over here. And of course, you can simply save this screenshot to your gallery and you can share it later or save it for your own reference. All right, so let's keep moving on through the air command. So if I tap this one more time, right over here, now we've got the smart select. And I'm sure you have heard about the fact that you can actually capture uh, GIF using the smart select. So let me show you all the different functions here. You can choose a rectangle and the area you choose actually gets converted into an image. You can actually extract the text from that image. You can draw on that image. So if I tap draw, it allows me to draw on it. Okay. When you're done, uh, you click save. Let's go back to crop over here. You can even crop it if you want. When you're ready, you can share this image again with anybody that you please using any medium. And when you're done, you can click it save and it's going to go into the gallery application, which is going to be right here. There we go. That's exactly what I cropped and I drew upon. And that is smart select. Now smart selects has some other functions. So let's go back in here, tap on smart select. You can actually choose oval shapes. So I can ch uh, choose an oval shape just like that. Again, share, draw, and save. I save this guy, I go to gallery, tap on it, and as you can see, whatever I selected has been saved. And finally, the new option, the new feature, is if you go back to uh, Smart Select, you tap on it. If you click on animation, now you get a square window that you can put anywhere. Now let's say in the background you have a YouTube video playing and you want to create an animation off of the video. All you do is put this where the video is playing, choose whether you want to save a high quality or a standard quality animated image, and then click record, and that's going to record the highlighted area up to 15 seconds maximum. When you stop it, it allows you to draw on it, share, or save. When you save it, it's going to be saved as an animated GIF. And then finally, if I bring up the uh, Air Command menu, you've got the Create Note. If you tap this, it goes to your S Pen note creation software, and here you can start writing, taking notes. Uh, you can draw if you want. If I go to Brushes, 
I have the options to pick different colors and I also have the options to uh, pick different brushes. So let's pick this guy and there we go. Super realistic handwriting done right with the S Pen. So that is basically everything you get with the Air Command as far as S Pen features go. All right, so let's go back into the S Pen settings and go over all the other options one by one. So back in settings, you go to advanced features and you go to S Pen and the next option is called Air View. Currently it is enabled and I just wanna let you know you can disable these things by tapping these buttons and enable them. You can also tap this button and it takes you into the detailed settings for that title. So in this case, uh, what Air View allows you to do is preview information and extend text. So basically if I go into the gallery application right over here, uh, let's go back into the regular gallery. So here's my uh, pictures. I can hover over these pictures and get quick previews. Okay, fantastic. So that is Air View. What else you can do is if I go back into those settings, you can do the same thing in calendar. You can go over, you can do the same thing in pictures. We just did it. You can do the same thing if you want to scroll up and down in a page. You can simply hover at the edges and it's going to scroll the page up. And if you go over here, you can do the same thing over hyperlinks. It's going to extend the content of that hyperlink. So if you go back to the um, calendar right over here, let's take a look at it. There we go. So tomorrow from 9 to 10, MED has been scheduled. So this is a nice quick glance feature. And the fact that you can do this with S Pen is just amazing. So let's go back out here. Direct pen input. Make sure it is enabled. You can always go inside and you can make modifications if it's available. In this case, they just have a quick description. So let's go to messages and let's uh, tap in a new message and let's hover on an area into which you can type. So if I hover over, you'll see a tiny icon. If I tap that icon, let me see, it's going to bring up a board onto which I can write naturally and it's going to convert my handwriting into actual writing, okay? Again, if I come back over here, I can do the same thing at the actual message. If I tap it, I can say, hi, and that's gonna convert that natural handwriting into the formatted text, okay? So that is direct pen input. Let's go back into this. It's enabled. It's good, sometimes I, I do use it. The next thing is the pointer. When you hover your S Pen over the screen, you will see a little pointer just floating around with the tip of the S Pen that shows you where your S Pen is pointing at the time. You can disable this if it bothers you and then it's there no more, okay? I like to keep that enabled. The next thing is pen detachment options. What do you want your phone to do when you detach your S Pen from your Samsung Galaxy Note 7? So in this case, it's set to be the air command. So if I just pull out the uh, pen, if my phone is on and if I pull up the pen, it brings up the air command just like this, okay? And I can, what I can do is if I tap on this, I can modify that behavior. I can actually uh, allow the phone to create a note and then I can start writing into it or I can do nothing. So when I pull the pen out, nothing really happens. And the next thing is screen off memo. So if my screen is actually shut off, if it's like this, and if I pull my S Pen, then what you can do is you can quickly jot down a note, okay? And then you can click save and move on. So you don't have to turn on the phone. You simply have to pull the S Pen. You get a small screen to write on. You write on it and you save that note and you move on. It's a, it's a tactic to quickly take a note on the go. So that is the screen off memo. As you can see, it is enabled. Now this option over here is one of my favorite options because if it is enabled and if you forgot your S Pen on the, on the table and you grabbed your note and you walked away, what's going to happen is your phone is going to alert you. It's going to beep telling you that it does not recognize that the S Pen is inside. You forgot it. So go grab it. So you don't want to, if you don't want to lose your S Pen, make sure this option is enabled. And if you look at the bottom here, it even tells you the last time the S Pen was detached. So that's a good point of reference if you did in fact lose the pen 
at least you can look at the date, you can look at the time, and you can say to yourself, oh, I was at my friend Joe's house at the time. So let's go back and grab it. All right. And this, I do not recommend that you enable this. Just disable this. There's no need to save battery. Uh, if you do this, then the uh, some detection features actually get turned off. So I prefer to keep this off. Let's go down. At the bottom here, you've got the S Pen sound and S Pen vibration. So basically, when you pull your S Pen from your phone, when you detach it, it can either play a sound or it can vibrate. Even when you write on the screen, it's going to play a sound as if you were writing on a piece of paper. So this sound option enables you to hear that you detach the S Pen and that you're writing on a piece of paper. And the vibration portion actually just gives you a quick vibration feedback when you pull the S Pen out from its cage. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.